Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we have this 2014 Chevy Silverado right behind me. So, the issue with this Chevy Silverado, it has a parasitic draw, and the customer was complaining after a couple of days, it would just not turn on. So, how about in today's video, we try to figure out this issue and give the vehicle back to the customer. All right, so we're in the vehicle right here, and this is a 2014 Chevy Silverado. And just let me tell you that as soon as I opened up the door, kind of had like a smell, like a mildew smell. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put like a little picture right here on the on the top, and you're gonna see what I noticed on the bottom right here. Uh, it's kind of it has like a little rust look to it. And on top of that, this is another issue that the customer was talking about. So we're gonna put the key on the on position and I'm sorry it's gonna get pretty loud. So, you know, watch yourself right here because it's gonna, the chime right here is really loud. So check this out. That is loud. This is crazy loud. And uh, I did try to do the little settings right here where you can put the the chime down so if you go to settings and then comfort convenience and then you can go to chime but as you can see it's all the way down so that's not it right there but man i'm just kind of scared right here because this might be a flooded car and might have more issues but let's try to fix up this problem right here that this customer has with the parasitic draw. So what I want to do, we're going to get our multimeter and we're going to go hook it up to the battery. I am going to put some videos up here more about the uh, about how to do that. So I'm going to put it up right here. But I'm just going to go to the front of the vehicle. We're going to go to the battery and we're going to hook that up. And we're going to see what kind of amp draw we have. So let's go to the front. Let's see what we get. All right, awesome. Now we have our multimeter right here. This is a little Klein Tool one, but right now we're just trying to check out the amperage. So I already hooked up our leads right there. And as well, what I'm doing right now, I have the doors open, but I locked them into place. And that's what we're trying to do right here because we have two fuse boxes inside the vehicle and we want to actually kind of remove some fuses. Like I said, there's, there's other tests on there. Uh, we can do the drop test. I'm just going to do old school style right here and I'm going to remove some of the BCM fuses and I just want to see if this drops down right here. So that's what we're going to try to look for and see what we get right here. But we're going to let this kind of go to sleep. So I'm going to leave this for a while right here for a good, good couple of minutes because we really want it to draw. But especially what the customer said, he said this kind of dies really quick. So I'm ex expecting these two amps right here to be steady because uh, one night, that's what we want to look at is around two amps. And what I'm trying to look for right here, I'm going for the, sh the shine. I'm going to think that we're going to be looking at most likely the BCM. So I was looking at a wiring diagram. This one has about six fuses on the BCM. So once we start getting ready to start pulling these fuses, we're going to go ahead and see which one it pulls. And I'm thinking that we're going to be have a B, uh, BCM issue that's probably causing this and who knows maybe this uh, mildy uh, moldy smell to it is caused by that but we're just going to wait a little bit longer and we're going to see if this drops down and then after that we can start pulling fuses and see what we find out one hour later all right so I'm going to try to start off with the BCM and see what this one has it has one, two, and three, four. Four BCM fuses. Now we gotta find out how the orientation is gonna go. As you can see, this one has one, two, three, four. And right here, there's one, but we can see four holes right there. So this is the orientation we're gonna go by. Like I said, I'm going for the BCM just because the, I think that's where all the electrics are at. So we're gonna try that out. We're gonna see what we find out. So let's start off with fuse number six. So actually number seven and eight. They're right next to each other. Seven and eight right here. So that's gonna be a 20 and 20 amp fuse. So if we look over here, we're gonna try seven first and nothing. Let's try eight and nothing right there now let's try 45 and 46 
Okay, we get nothing there and nothing there. All right, so this is on the passenger side. There's a driver side too that has other fuses. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna give that a shot. We're gonna see if that does anything right there. If not, we gotta go to the drawing board and see what else we have. So let's go to it, let's see what we find out. All right, so we're in the driver's side right now. And let's check this out. We have, how many BCM fuses? We have one on six, one on seven, uh, one on 17. And tell me I'm not missing anything else. I think that's pretty much it. So on this side, we're gonna have three BCM fuses. So remember orientation again. And right here, as you can see, one, two, three, four. And look at that, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna start off with six and seven, which is gonna be one, two, three, four. Pull this one out and nothing there. Let's pull this one out, nothing there. <laughs> no jeez okay what's going on right here you know what should have done this in the beginning i'm gonna go right underneath there because the bcm is just right here i'm gonna just unplug all of them and we're gonna see if we get anything from there hopefully we can find something let's see what we can find out man i'm just gonna go to my old school and just start pulling out fuses if this doesn't work so let's go try this out let's see what we get four five still nothing six and seven the draw is still there what the heck is going on all right you know what we're going to our old school let's start off in in the other side and we're going to start taking these off see what we get all right now we're on the passenger side we're gonna go old school let's just get this done let's see what we find out so let's take these off. Nothing, nothing. Come on, baby. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. <laughs> All right. There you go. There. It dropped. It dropped. It dropped. All right. So let's see what this this one is. This is a 30 amp fuse. All right. Now we gotta see where this came from. 30 amp fuse. That was one, two, three, one, two, 32, number 32. That's a S O S E O B two S E O B two. Now we got to find out what is a part of that and, and, and what's causing it to do it. So we got to see where the S let's see S E O B two. Make sure that I got it right. Yeah. S E O B two. 30 amp fuse all right let's go to the wiring diagram let's see what is causing this to go down what's hooked up to that uh, that circuit right there so let's go inside and see what we find out all right so we're right here on mitchell and what we want to start off is by looking up this fuse that we have right here so to go to that we have to go to system wiring diagram power distribution and then we're going to look up this fuse and that's the seob2 and here you go this is what it is Remember, that's that 30 amp fuse that we pulled out right there. And that is tied into an instrument panel junction block. All right, so the cool thing about Mitchell that I really like about this. So if we go right here, click on the actual picture. We can go down, and as you can see right here, we are a uh, black arrow. But if we go close to the instrument panel junction block, it turns into a hand. If we click on that, it gives us a little option right here a little tab and we can see right here we can go to a component location and let's see what we have right here bam like we got a x 51l x 51r those are the fuse boxes that we're messing around with and then we have right here our x 61a junction block instrument panel now i want to know where that is located at so what we can do we can click right here and we can see that it shows what it looks like but where is the location? Um, we have instrument panel X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5. But where is it located at? 
All right, so like I said, we're gonna see if we can type this in somewhere. X621 A. I can click on here. Oh, there you go. Check that out right there. Here you have your X61A junction block instrument panel. And as well over here, 12 junction, uh, X61A junction block instrument panel. Where is the location for this? So if we zoom in right here. Remember that was 11 and 12. And that kind of looks close to where the pedals are at. If I'm not mistaken, this one right here should be our fuse block. The left side, there should be one over here, but they're only showing this one. So this is number seven. And if we go right here, X51L. So yeah, that's the left side. So this should be the X51R on the other side. But we can clearly see on this right here that our instrument panel uh, junction block should be right here on the bottom close to the pedals so now what we should do let's go down there and let's go check it out see what we find out from from there we know when we remove this 30 amp fuse from the right side the it actually goes down but we have a connection that goes from here to over there so we gotta see what we have here so let's go to the vehicle see what we find out and hopefully we can get this fixed we gotta remove this right here and then look what I found right here. I don't know if you can get that right there. Someone hooked this up right here. <laughs> and as you can still see, I'm gonna put, you're gonna see right here, we still have an amp draw. Look what happens as soon as I take this off. And I don't know why they did that, but look this, <laughs> check this out. All right, <laughs> that dropped the amp draw right there. So I want to figure out what this wire is right here, what they did, and so on. Uh, I want to hook everything back on, see, because the BCM connectors are still off. You see, and this is the other connector from that uh, fuse box right here. So I'm going to take this off, see where this is coming from, Put everything back on and see what our amp draw is at now and hopefully this is a fix who put that on there i don't know why but man you cause a lot of problems and then once i put everything on i just want to see if our volume is back to normal and uh i want to see how everything goes so let's put everything back together and then we're going to retest this out and see what we get all right so this wire kind of runs up right here so it's in this area right here of the radio what i want to do first i'm gonna go ahead put this key on the on position i want to see if that chime is gone and that's going to be one of the main things that i'm kind of worried about we're going to check this out we're going to go ahead and still cover yours because i still haven't done this so i don't know what's going to happen so let's put the key on the on position All right. So we haven't heard anything yet. Let's try something right here. Remember, this was on, I don't know if you remember, this was on completely low. So let's just raise this up just a little bit because we couldn't hear anything. Take this off. Put this back on. Now we're not hearing anything. <laughs> this is nuts. But like I said, there's a wire that's down here and it goes up to here. Can that be a part of it? Can that be causing the issue right there? All right, I went for it. Remove this and look at all of this right here. <laughs> oh, God. And they actually, uh, they cut some wires and you can see this is, I don't know who did this. Probably like a radio shop. But this black wire right here, this is the one that was hooked up to our uh, junction block right there 
and you can see put it this way if you don't know what you're doing please man just do some research uh give it to the professionals because this is just horrendous man so uh yeah i'm gonna talk to the customer i'm gonna see if they even have uh the sound system anymore if not i'm just gonna put it back to factory man because i'm not a big fan of this kind of stuff so we're gonna see what he says and then we're gonna go from there all right so here's a moment of truth put everything back on soldered the wires now we're back to factory now what i want to check out we're going to have this key right here let's put it in the on position and let's see if we can hear this chime see how it sounds there you go that's how it's supposed to sound right there not too crazy just sounds just right and all we had to do is just fix up that problem figure out the issue and it was all tied in so let's check this out again put it back on look how that sounds so if you do like this video please put a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all brand new videos coming out from miles mechanics y'all take care y'all have a nice day